All right. So I did a talk yesterday. Maybe some of you saw it. Um, and in my talk, I mentioned another talk by Rich Hickey, who uh, wrote Closure. He did a really good talk called Simple, Simple Made Easy. Um, you should get, all go watch, but not right now. Go watch it later. Um, and in that, he uh, wanted to, he looked at, you know, he started out showing you the definition of where does the word simple come from? Where does the word complex come from? And they both uh, have their roots in Latin, like the plecto and plic care and, and uh, uh, pleats and all this all comes from the same uh, word of like folding and, and braiding and stitching things together, right? And there's a really good kind of archaic word that he brought back called complect and complecting is the, the process of interweaving and, and intertwining um, uh, your stuff. And I, I have to do one thing here. I can't see. Oh, well, I won't do it. I can't see you guys. I hate, hate talking when I can't see, but anyhow, I lost my window. Um, so I, I thought, you know, simple made easy is actually hard. It's hard to, to write simple code. So, so, um, oh, one, one more step. I forgot that he also, um, lost my, Thing here. He also uh, explained easy also comes from a Latin word adjacent, which is like adjacent, right? Easy means close at hand. Uh, anyhow, uh, I thought simple is hard. He tried to make it easy, um, but you know what's easy? Complecting. So I thought I'd do a talk, uh, a lightning talk on complecting made easy, right? So how can we complex some code? So we have some code here, like a camera class that uh, takes takes a picture in a projector class, and they're they're you know beautiful separate classes. They have nothing in common. But let's imagine you know start out simple here. How about a global variable? That's the easiest way to to uh, complex these two classes together. They could both reference the same global variable. And, and in fact, one of them could change the global variable and then the other one reads it later or something. So, you know, camera class can now affect the projector class because they both share this global variable. Um, and, you know, what's the next best thing to a, a, a global variable? Shared pointers, right? So I could do the same process where maybe in the constructor, they, they get handed this shared pointer and then they can both read it, they can both write it, they can do everything. You know, because like Sean said, said uh, shared pointer is as good as a global variable. All right. Uh, and, uh, you know, you don't need to use shared pointers. You could just use uh, raw pointers. In, in our uh, code base, we have a class we call model. It's basically the document class that holds on to everything. That's why it's in all caps. It's just, it has everything in it. And so, uh, you know, if, if both of these classes have model, you could just access whatever it is you need to access because model holds everything. So it's there. And the best part about model is that even if the projector class is isolated and it doesn't have a pointer to model, but the camera class has a pointer to model. So it can just dig in through model as far as it needs to go. It calls get channel, get projector, get, 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 get all the way down to, Hey, I've got, I've got access to projector. Now I can change it. So even if projector is trying to be an isolated class, We've got the power. We've got ultimate power, unlimited power. If we have access to model, we can complex our code. And it's that easy because the model pointer is close at hand. As soon as you hand camera a pointer to model, complexing is easy. It's close at hand. It's right there for you. Base classes are another way. You know, if, if projector and camera, they're both devices, why don't they share a base class device? Uh, maybe we put mode or whatever is in there. And now that now that thing is close at hand. And, uh, you know, they might not share the same state at, at, at uh, you know, they're still two separate instances of mode. But um, if, if you put, you know, you need something in camera and you think, well, if I, uh, if I just add this thing to the base class, that'll make my life easier. And it's mostly used for camera, but I added it to the base class for whatever reason I thought that made sense. Now it's close at hand for, for projector if it wants to use it later, right? You've made complexing those two classes together easy, close at hand. And if even better, make that make that a static variable. Now we can you know affect it at runtime. That's that's even better. We can both change it at runtime. Um, and familiarity. Imagine you had uh, some code you needed to write, and you've already worked on camera before. You know, it's the last class you touched. So if you wanted to uh, write some new code, most likely you're going to put that new code code in camera because that's the stuff you're familiar with. Familiarity is cognitively close at hand. I will go to someplace I'm. 
I feel comfortable in, I will write some code, even if it belonged elsewhere. I don't know if elsewhere, you notice my syntax of elsewhere there. I don't know if elsewhere is a function or a class, a library, whatever. I should have put that code elsewhere, but I decided to put it in some place that I was familiar with. Even if it's harder to do, you know, if I actually knew what was going on, I would have put it somewhere else, but everything I needed was close at hand. I had access, I had, I had camera, it was familiar. I had access to model or something. It was all there. I could just write that code and complex my code. Isn't that wonderful? And uh, members versus free functions, right? What is easier to just add this new code into a class you already are familiar with? Or I could add this new code as a free function. Where do I put it? Which which CPP file does it go in? Do I, do I have to make a new header? Do I have to create a whole new CPP file for this function? Why don't I just stick it in this class that I that's right here? It's right here close at hand because classes are made of Velcro. They just collect functions. And then later on, you know, you're going to add a variable to that class too, because that would help that function. Just it's right there. Just add the variable here. Where else would you put it? It's close at hand. And, uh, you know, the, the other thing with the um, trying to put in a new class a, a new file, what do you name that file? You're going to call it camera utils, because that's what you name everything, just utils. So I don't know where to put this code. So you end up with a giant utils thing. And then you can complex your whole utility library by putting everything in one utility library. So easy. Uh, and if you want to get even, it's a little harder, but if you want to, you can complex it all like at a whole nother, nother level by just adding threads to everything, all right? And that's it. I'm open, I want to hear, actually some of these came from, at least one or two of these came from Ben just an hour ago, talking to Ben and Connor, uh, gave me some of these ideas. I'm open to more ideas on how we can complex our code. I, 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 I don't know to clap or to to be sad, and uh, I mean the the other part of it is I'm not certain that Ben or Connor meant that when they were talking to you. I mean, I mean they might have said those words, but no, that's what they. I mean, I asked how how do I complex my code, and they they knew how to do it. They <laughs> they go. sounded really like experts to me. Actually. What I love about this lightning talk, it's going to go so well with um, James's on how to simplify code. If you remember that, you just kind of, you know. Who would want to do that? Getting rid of the indentations. You just keep moving things over to the left and eventually it becomes simple code, simple code. <laughs> These two are just, they're a pair. All right, well, Tony, I'm, I'm sure this is going to go down <laughs> in, in the books along with your keynote. This is great. Thank, Thank you. you.